Hey guys, Deli Black with not a live commentary, but it's gonna be a uh, after commentary because my audio got screwed up within the video. So I have to sit here and I have to commentate on myself later. So of course we play as Murray in verse in this part. And of course here I couldn't see anything. But yeah guys when you're wondering why I have a post commentary is because of uh yeah, see, I don't have f uh, f Fists of Flames. You know, you can see Murray is a completely, he's a big power character. He still can do his takedown like in, um, like Sly can. Belly doesn't have one, but uh, Murray does. So what we have to do is water pump destruction in this part with Murray. Of course, there'll be other parts, but that's all we have to do right now for Murray. Then we have to go back to the safe house. Of course, like I said, I'll be doing a clue bottle video of uh, to get all the clue bottles. But yeah, I'm sorry, guys, because this is a uh, post, yeah, post commentary. Of course, take this frog out nice, painfully, and we'll go in here. Which, of course, we have to destroy the water pump with Murray. So, Murray, I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room. And sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. It's pretty simple. Pick, of course, you could pick anything else up and throw it at it. Not just the ice, it could be chairs, barrels, anything to destroy it. Like here, I use a crate to You're destroy strong, it. Murray. Try picking up other stuff in the room. Of course, Bentley just says what I just said. What? Just. Never mind. But yeah, barrels, crates, chairs, anything. And of course, I also try to emphasize that I try to get as many coins to upgrade things as possible is also very helpful. So of course everything that can be destroyed is more is gonna not everything but a lot of things are gonna hold coins. If you're low on health, destroy the obstacles because then you'll be able to get health back and a little other bar. Of course I have a little bit of problems right here with the video. Enemies that are knocked out can be picked up with your stop Throw something at that guard. And of course I screw up. He misses, and you can still hit him and knock him out. So you just pick him up and throw him into the lasers for an easy kill. Yeah, I don't know why my... It was, I don't know, it's just my computer. It's probably because I needed to restart it really bad. That's probably why. I think that might have been Windows Media Player. But like I said, you just want to try to destroy as many things as you can. But yeah, I was having a lot of troubles with the video. You know, because usually when I record, I always record a test video to see, um, to make sure nothing's wrong and stuff like that. And um, I always restart my computer before I always record, but this time I didn't, and I suffer with it. So you get past these lasers. I do very, very luckily. I get attacked with it, but the best thing to do, which I show you, is that you always want to hit triangle to hit them up, and then um, square to throw them in there. That's all you have to do. You don't have to punch them or anything else. You just press triangle to pick them up and press all. So you can pretty much hover by the door and keep doing what, exactly what I show you in the strategy right here. Very simple and easy strategy. Just want to keep doing that. I don't know how to like seven, eight rats, ten, I don't know, that destroy the water bottle. They'll keep coming out of that door. But if you follow that, you'll get it. That did it, Murray. With the aqua pump out of commission, they'll be forced to root water through the old pipe tower. Those fools! They're playing right into our hands! Yay! So then, of course, job completed. Murray. And 4%. We're gonna go to 5. I don't know. And, of course, we'll go back to the safe house for our next objectives. Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. 
First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the Spotlight Control Center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. It's pretty simple stuff. So, of course, uh, I thought here that you could play as Bentley, but you don't yet. You have to play one as Sly before you can play as Bentley. So, it's just a little more time to play as Bentley. Of course, I connected the thief net, and I have a gold comb I had to sell. And I still have to get 400 coins to get Murray's fist, or flame fist, fist of, I think it's fist of flames. He's not panicking. And of course, I do the one with Murray, which is silence the alarms. It's pretty easy. Then we have theater pickpocketing as Sly, and Moonlight Rendezvous as Sly. And Moonlight Rendezvous leads up to Bentley's first job. But we won't worry about that now. We'll have to, we'll do sound the alarms, which obviously because I have Murray out, the brawn of the team, the brawn, the big muscle man, who does front flips, and you can hear ooh, like wind. Uh, so, anyways, pretty easy stuff. Uh. I'm trying to think what else to say. Uh, kill that. I kill that rat. Of course, I thought it started. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evil doers feel my wrath. He's like a big, soft Superman. Of course, you just you pick anything up as you find. Later on, it's just get more difficult because you have to travel more distance with the items. And yeah, rats. Anything works. Of course, I screw up here because a rat hits me. But I got it done anyways. So I go up here and finish these rats off. Then traverse to the next one. And I think I destroyed some of this stuff. Yeah, I do. Find out there's no coins there, and I. The second, or should I say, the new closest point? I could have went. The, could have. You could go the other way, but this is the way I go. I went. This is kind of like difficulty. So anyways, just if you really want to, you can keep to the rooftop so you can just run on the ground. So there's the third alarm. You have a sign, and then, oh yeah, newspaper stand to throw it at. You can always use the rats, like I said, and the frogs if you want to. Yeah, of course I have him like go for a swim. And then, if, then we have the third alarm we have to uh, destroy. Like I say, you just try to pick up anything you can. But this one, the newspaper stands a little farther away. So what you'll have to do is you have to do a little walking. Of course, here I thought I could was closer, but I wasn't. So I just ditched the chair. There's a guard there. So I have to take an alternate route, which of course the roofs. We got a frog up here patrolling. Can kill if you want to. I know you can. And I feel like attracting attention of the rat that's on this building, which I can't get. Done. Anyways. I say you just want to go to pick up as many things as you can to show the alarms. I like how I pick this rat up and throw him at the alarm. 
Ironically enough, they never even bothered me this whole time, last alarm. I'm very surprised. Usually you think since it's the last one they'd have like pour out everywhere, it's like the pack do in Dead Space 2. But instead they um there's like none that came over there. Probably because there was none in the radius. Even though across the game there's some. And of course, job completed, Murray. Now we're at five percent. So, um, then we gotta do Sly's, uh, mission, which, if I'm correct, my memory serves, right? I do the Moon Knight Rendezvous in this part. Of course, I was getting caught by a guard several times. So, uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of the Dead Space 2 multiplayer, and I think it's actually pretty good. Really good. Got the single player is awesome, and the multiplayer is equally as awesome. Actually, I think it's all more awesome. <laughs> of course, I don't know why I'm checking here. I didn't get anything. And of course, we have Sly with um, who's my best character I control as. So we still have Theater Pickpocketing and Moonlight Rendezvous, which I'm going to do Moonlight Rendezvous right now, where you have to uh, tail up. Uh, uh, you'll see. You have to tail some, you have to follow them. So the little cutscene. Hold it, Cooper. Constable Neela. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please. I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. Fly, hold down the so pretty much, it, it, it's a tailing. So like I say, what you want to do, the key points are you don't want to get ahead of Neela. Because she'll run you right off of like a string or something like that. So you always want to see at least one step behind her. See, like right there, if I just went forever, she would have knocked me off and it would have been done. And uh, also, don't worry about the enemies, because if you get seen by an enemy, you just keep following Neela, because you'll lose them. And usually if there's any by her, she'll kill them. But yeah, as long as you do those, you, you'll get it. See, like here, if you jumped up at the same time as her, she'll get knocked off the... you get knocked off. Of course, I follow her almost too exactly. They show randomly destroy objects. Don't lie. Abusive. Not e not eco friendly. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. See the frog. Like there, he sees me. You don't want to fight him. Just keep following Neela. She's like your main objective right now. Because they don't have long. They don't have ranged weapons or dirt. But that doesn't do much to you. Um. So she'll lead it out way on the other side of the gates that you got we seen when we did uh, Murray's uh, alarm, the last alarm, right here. So, like I said, just let her go on the vehicle first and whatnot. You jump over. You pretty much just, like I said, you just follow her. You don't want to get ahead of her because you'll get knocked off the, your trail and you'll be done. And there you go. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. Yeah, uh huh, yeah, work well together, huh, him. Anyway, job cleared, sly, we're at five percent. the disco will require my demolition skills. Head on back to the safe house. I should be all geared up for the field by the time you arrive. So, of course, this mission is called Disco Demolitions with Bentley. His first one in the game. Um, so, anyways, we still have slides, which I won't do that till the next part. Which I'm pretty sure I was explaining that right here. Because, like I said, I had live commentary in the video. But, I don't know, the video kind of had slowed down as for that because my computer. And I had to uh, do this. So, of course, we have this treasure here that I take back several attempts <laughs> in this part <laughs> don't make it see here's my attempt one 
Here's a tip to one, everyone. I got hit by him. Thought I thought I could make it. I, if I used my smoke bomb, I would have got it. So I wasn't very happy about that. So I run off a sly. I completely forgot I had the smoke bomb. That I could have got gave him the slip. I don't know. Do I make another attempt? A sly? Oh no, I did. I just go say hack with it and go back and get Bentley. Because of course he's right next to the door. So, like I said, Bentley's the demolition expert. We have his trigger bomb. Throw a bomb with remote detonation. Press L to aim, L1 to aim, L1 to throw, and L1 to detonate. So, uh, he also has poison, like, sleep charts, I should say. Right here, I sh uh, show the throwable bomb and how effective it is. So, that's, well, it's pretty powerful. That's how you use it. Of course, I try to throw in the sleep darts, but I fail because I miss, and then I just say heck with it. Was well, just go to Bentley's mission course. There's guys all over the place. They're doubling up all over the place. So of course, just go to the rooftops. Grab this ledge. But yeah, see, Bentley's also very effective with sitting on the rooftops, like running around. Of course, Sly is number one, but. Yawning. Whoa, that was weird. That was horrible. Slow down. Anyways, yeah, we enter the nightclub. Man, that's pretty bad. My computer is junk. If you guys see that, there's lag right here. Audio lag. Okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb and head out of the way before it explodes. Yeah, see, this is pretty much why I had a lot, of, a ton of audio lags. My computer was on for like four, like. A week straight without anything ha um <laughs> no, hold on. Hey Bentley, how you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving, keep safe. See, that's why I have, I did, I have a lot of horrible, ton of video and audio likes. So that's why I'm doing this post commentary now, so you guys know. So you, when you sit in the watch, it's like, what the heck's happening? Uh, you know. That's why I always make sure my computer's always ready, uh, prime when I record. So of course you just drop a bomb by the pillar and it'll. Um, destroy it and you have four in total. Not really much resistance, you just have like three guards I think. Just take them off the well place sleep no, there's five total. Here's four. So you just throw a bomb by him and boom! That was a delay. And of course he's out for the count. Grab me some coins. Drop out by the next pillar and it blows up. Kaboom. And then we have half the done. Of course, I uh, here instead of uh, directly approach, of course, instead of direct approach, like I would do, like a shooting dart. What I do is I try to be a little different, and I use a throwing bomb to see the alternate roll. Of course, it doesn't kill him. It didn't. Just kind of make him up, fly back. Probably be painful. See, he's still up. Well, he's knocked out for like a split second. So, of course, I just go around and shoot him with a sleep dart, and he's gonna be out. Now, then, of course, jump on by help, and he is nothing but chills. Oh, they're hitting. Yeah, I think he's the last guy. Um. You pretty much do the same thing. Kill guards, it's it's pretty simple. And that's not even the right pillar. Maybe I get coins for that blowing up the wrong pillar. Of course, like I always say, you always want to try to destroy as much stuff as you can to get coins so you can pay off your uh, upgrades. And here's the third pillar.
One pillar left, and... Not even a guard to defend it. Already killed him. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Of course, like I said, it's first Bentley. I never even said it. Bentley's first mission, it's obviously gonna be easy. Great explosion, looks like I'm Kami. Wow, Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. Yes. Job completed, Bentley and six percent. Uh, and then I come here around and destroy all these tables. Destruction, property damage. Bentley's gonna be not Bentley. Dimitri's gonna be pretty uh, mad about that. <laughs> property damage. See, I think there's a trophy. I thought there was a trophy that was for 500 coins, but there wasn't. It's actually the next trophy because I think there's 100. And I think I already got the 500. It might, it might have been 300. No, there's 50, 100, I think. But anyways, yeah. Then there's a, uh, then there's a thousand tr coin trophy, which I'll probably get like off screen and stuff like that. Because I'll try to get that. I'll try to get like 900 coins next time I record. I'll get the thousand. Then I'll buy Murray's Fist Flames. So I always pickpocket a lot because every time I always seem to have ended a chapter, I had like well over a thousand, up to like 50, between 1,500 and 2,000 coins. And I always, I was always safe. Well, that was in the beginning. After a while, I started getting more because I was always safe with uh, buying the upgrades and having money left over. Because in my opinion, it's always good to collect the coins early on. And buy the stuff early on because then you can collect coins and stack them up as much as you want throughout your whole chapter while doing all your missions and whatnot and objectives. So of course the things there again and I try to get it and I take it back with uh, Bentley because if I'm correct, yeah, you can take any artifacts back as Sly, Bentley, or Murray. I always do it as Sly though. I think it's about like. 200, 200, I think 150 of this uh, cup is. Holy grail! So it's not gold, it's silver. Take him out, then I get seen again and I get shot again. Again! <laughs> That's how bad my luck is in this game. Well, actually, not in the game. I, I'm really good at the game. It's just my. It's like an LP. It's like the LP curse. Has attacked me. I don't know why I did that. I could have just ran one right away. Thorner, so I'm talking too much. Oh, quick! It's about like 150. We don't even see it. Hmm, that's pretty bad leg. But yeah, it's about like 150. Then I find out that I actually did have a smoke bomb. I could have used it way before. Uh, but of course, that was what I realized when I was doing the LP. So I make another attempt at going back and getting that grail. Or cup, or whatever you want to say. So a clue bottle, all 30 clue bottle. Mission's gonna be coming up soon for um, the Black Chateau. Then I look up there, and there's actually another one about right around there, that area. There's a second treasure which I go get, and I think if I'm correct, yeah, I go get in this part. So you pretty much just follow my road. It's just you make sure you don't get any guards, get in a quarrel with any guards like I did the past two times. He should be fine. So as you avoid guards, that's the big thing. But yeah, take my role, you're pretty much good. You just have to worry about that guard, maybe a couple more. But yeah, I, I should have actually stayed on the rooftops. It's always the safest is the roofs. But yeah, the route that I'm taking right here, it's like there's no guards in any of these roofs. The roof, like the route I took, there's no guards. There's never really, there never is. Always slow down by the safe house. 
Okay, yeah, the crystal chalice. In which, of course, then I sit here and think, okay, yeah, I c I'll uh, not get the fist of flames. And um, I'll go out and get that other piece of treasure with Sly. Maybe we'll just take the same way back. Retrace your footsteps. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, guys, like I always say, why don't you comment, subscribe, add me as a friend, add me on YouTube, add me as a friend on PS3, which is just Deadly Black. Yeah, it's like my, my YouTube username, except without 25. Yeah, of course, I pickpocket here with this guy, and I think I get out gold watch. Ha, huh, it was. Sells for a good amount of cash. Then, of course, this other guy. I think he has something again. Not sure. Have to see. Of course, he has his little frog friend, which is that guard on the other side of the gate. So you have to just wait for him to jump across there, and then he can pickpocket that other guard. The big guy. Big man. Gotta make sure he keeps his. Patrol at route. Root route. Continued. Of course, he doesn't have anything. He has a bunch of coins. Then I kill him. And get the treasure. The treasure. Sounds like a charted. I'm going to saying treasure. It's like a charted, so I'll just keep saying treasure. Which it's like a, I think it's like a silver lock box. I think that's what it was. But yeah, you just take, retrace your steps back to the area with the little bolt. The frog ain't gonna see ya. Shouldn't. Don't trust me on that. It's more slow now. That's why. My computer was running for a while and I, I have a feeling there was something that was running. And of course this guard here has some coins. Uh, yeah, he has a silver comb. So it's for about like 70 coins I think that does. Myself more, my, less. Myself like 40, I think. Might be 70 or 40. Not sure. I don't really know how many of these treasures are uh, on each chapter. I think there's like, well, you gotta count the painting as one. That chalice and this, so it's three. I think there's like three on every one. I think. Like, there's three to four. Silver comb, 19. Gold watch, 44. And the ivory, on oh, jewel box, 205. So then, of course, there's no trophy. I'll have to wait till I get to 1,000 for our trophy. And then once I do that, like, you know, I'll, then I'll do get I'll get up to 400 off screen. And then I'll just get uh, uh, Fists of Flames for Murray, which is really useful. Um, yeah. Come on. Uh, and of course I always do this in every part. Go ahead and tell safe house. Okay, so we have theater pickpocketing left, which I will do in the next part. There's nothing else. Nope. That and the clue bottle will probably be coming before the theater pickpocketing. I might. Because every clue bottle is in the outside area. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is part five.